Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, okay? Cool. Okay, so can you see me? Yes, I can. Okay, so this is the uh, original photo, correct? Cool, yeah. Okay, so we're working from this as a base. Stick this up here. Can you see that? Well, this is your jacket. Mm -hmm. So exactly Amazing. like this. You know who this guy is? Yeah, he's British. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, David Gandy, right? Very good. <laughs> yeah, I like his style. <laughs> so I think we've nailed it, right? You can see the high uh, notch lapel landing exactly yeah. where it lands on him. The pick stitching around the jacket, the okay. high pockets. You can see how the pockets come up very high just like his, and the high one yeah, button nice. over the belly. You can Super. see it's pretty high. And just slit pockets for you, okay? Nice. We've done our touch like last time, the functional cuffs. I'd like you to wear that open. I've given you a dinner button here. I'll get to that in a second. This is a built-in pocket square. So you can awesome. put your glasses in there, you can put another pocket square, you can put business cards, you can put nothing at all or you can use our pocket square. It's built in and stays in there. Awesome. So you can fish it out and you can make it big and fiery, like Mr. Gandhi here, <laughs> okay? Or you can make it uh, sleek and small, however you want. You good with that? Yeah, that's perfect. The waistcoat is something that I really love. And again, I think we've nailed it. The proof will be in the pudding once you actually put it on. But I, I just think it's a magnificent waistcoat. If we look at the picture you yeah. sent me and what we've done for you. Trousers, yeah, I love the trousers, okay. the buckle. How tall are you? Uh, I guess around 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, you look much taller on screen. <laughs> I'm not as tall as you. You know how tall I am? No, that's for sure. What, 6'3", six, 6'4"? Six, how do you know I was that tall? Are you serious? Are you that tall? I am that tall. I'm 6'4". Six, 6'4"? Four. Six, four. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be for work, right? Yeah. And you're used, yeah. To, you're used to wearing a double-breasted waistcoat, correct? Uh, not all the time. It's normally single-breasted, but... Okay, so I wear a waistcoat every day. Rogue. I wear a waistcoat every day, six days a week, okay? So remember one thing. Yeah. The face in double-breasted, the face of the button mm -hmm. goes through the face of the hole. Okay. Is that how you normally do it? No. <laughs> well, then you're doing it wrong. Okay. I, don't, I don't want you to do it this way. And oh, I don't okay, want you to yeah. leave it unbuttoned. I, I genuinely want you to do it this way. The face of the button face to face, yeah. goes into the face of the hole. You give it a little tug and you let it settle. Okay, you let it settle, it's got a life of its own. Yep. I know I sound retarded, but trust me, that's the way you do it, okay? And then it's up to you whether you want to wear it this way or you want to wear it like Mr. Yeah, Gandhi, like all button. Yeah. I like to button all my buttons, mm -hmm. except for the cuff button. Okay. Okay, but you can wear it any which way you want. And you know, maybe one time wear it like this and another time wear it open. Yeah, you, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, you know, generally, I like all my buttons buttoned, but on this particular cut, the way it cuts away, the way we've done it for you, I don't mind if you leave that open. Okay. You're happy with the pockets? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. I think they, I think they, they, they're, they're nicer like this. Yeah. Than to just have little slits. Yeah, I'm always needing uh, extra pockets for bits and bobs. So and here's the jacket. So, do I look like uh, David Gandhi? Spitting image. So, <laughs> I'd say more handsome. <laughs> the, the Indian version, right? Yeah, awesome. So what do you think? Yeah, really good. Yeah, amazing. Okay, so the I'm dinner really button that I've given you, right? This is just for a little bit of extra room when you need it. Okay? Mm -hmm. So when you, when you walk to a dinner table, you will sit down at the dinner table. Don't unbutton the jacket. Unless no, you really okay. want to. You sit down at the dinner table, okay? And underneath the table, 
you unbutton and you rebutton. And that gives you an extra inch of room. Okay. Ready and, to the food. <laughs> and, then, and then the lapel shape is preserved. And then before you get up, you do the same thing. And when you dance, you do the same thing, basically. Wicked. So it looks good? Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Thanks very much. So can you email me your detailed delivery address and mobile phone number? Yeah, we'll do. If I'm sending to the UK, then I'm going to need a UK mobile for the courier. Yeah, I have one of those. Yeah, I'll send one. Great stuff. So please email me uh, as soon as you can, and don't get me worried like you did before. <laughs> Too much traveling. You're lucky. These days. You're enjoying yourself though, right? Yeah, st traveling less, but um, still, still traveling around. I've got a um, a seafarer's. Um, sort of passports that helps me with borders a little bit more but still delays everything quite normal but hopefully getting back to normal soon. So tell me about this family you work for. Can you tell me? Uh, I can't tell you too much but yeah they're an international uh, family they have households everywhere, yachts everywhere so yeah lots of travel. How long have you been working with them for? Uh, on and off uh, about eight years now. How old are you? 32 now. Dude, you're a young man. I'm still, still relatively young. <laughs> you're young, you're young. All right, listen, so send me that email and I will get this package over to you ASAP. Okay, buddy? Cool. Thanks Thank so you so much. much. God bless you, brother. Take, Take care. care. Bye. Okay, what do we got here? So that was my third live of the day. I think I've done United States twice. I did DC in the morning. I, I did somewhere on the East Coast a short while ago and I've just done the UK now. Blake, are you there? I've sent your suit back up. I wasn't uh, uh, completely convinced by it, the measurements that you sent me. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Nick. Uh, big shout out to the young masters at uh, Kellett School. You guys are always watching me. Fernando, how are you, buddy? Your uh, coat will be coming up soon. Uh, it, I, I can't wait to show it to you. Seriously, I hope you're there, Fernando. Uh, so do you guys have any great questions for me before I go? Be happy to take any questions. Dr. Fariba, Blake, you are there. What's up with the suit? I think the, the measurements you sent me, I mean, like the sleeve length. You're 6'1", right, Blake? The sleeve length was way too short. The trouser length was way too short. Uh, it just didn't make any sense to me and stuff. And I actually tried the suit on myself, so I'm remaking the trousers completely from scratch. And uh, I am uh, uh, changing the sleeves on it. But other than that, that was good. No, I don't want, yeah, I mean, you could measure your sleeves again and you could measure your trouser length again and send it to me. But you know me, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist, but I can't send you nonsense, right? You know, I gotta send you stuff that's amazing uh, and stuff. And as soon as I saw the suit, I knew it wasn't, there was, wasn't something right about it. Um, and that's basically it. Russ the man, I am doing well. Russ the man, have we met before? So I've got a question here, is a good question. Uh, all garbage questions. Uh, I really wanna maintain uh, s sophistication uh, on these chats. I don't mind doing comedy, I don't mind doing anything, I'm so candid and stuff. But some of the questions that I get sent on the question board are just, they just, they're rude, they're ridiculous, they're silly, they have nothing to do uh, with whatever we do. Russ, where have we met? Tell me where we met, Russ. You still there? Okay, I'm going to go now, guys, because I've got a ton of work to do, as always. Sorry, someone's trying to call me from Switzerland. Blake, there's no trouble at all. Just check your trouser length and check your sleeve length. You, you know what I'm saying? Because they were abnormally short, and uh, my tailor should have counted for that uh, and stuff. And as soon as I saw the, the suit, I'm like, no, this is not right. I just knew it. But don't worry about it. It just shows that I've got to be even more and more and more and more hands-on and stuff. But it's all good. I mean, you've got my eye and it's no trouble at all. It is what it is. Guys, if you have any questions, shoot them to me. Um, for my trials, I want you to... Can, can, can I get a... Can I get a cameraman? Blake, so the sleeve length is simple, right? From the shoulder bone to, to just past the wrist bone to where you want it to go down, right? And the jacket length is basically from here to just down to the crotch. Uh, but I think the jacket length that you sent me is fine. The trouser length is from the top of the waistband, where you wear your waist, to the bottom of the cuffs, 
So I hope you got that. I'll be posting this video anyways. Um, and we can uh, do that <coughs> together if you, uh, not to the ankle, to the bottom of the trousers. To wherever you want the trousers to land, Blake. Top of the waistband to the bottom of uh, where you want the trousers to land. Russ, did I want to talk to you? I don't know, man. Have we met before? You said we have. Tell me where we met. Anyways, not many questions today, so I'm going to go. Thanks for joining me. I don't know if I'll have another. I, I might have another live uh, later today at about 5.30, so that's an hour and 15 minutes. It will be with, if it happens, it will be with Jason McAteer. He used to play for the Republic of Ireland, and he used to play for Liverpool. He used to also, also play for Blackburn Rovers. Uh, he's an amazing footballer. Obviously, he's retired now. I think he's 49 now. Um, so I'm going to go, guys, and hopefully you'll join me for my next live and uh, ask me some great questions. Take care. Bye.